Good evening. I want to go over some stuff for you. Anybody interested in buying this bike? Uh, I'd want to know if I was buying the bike. Um, again, it's the TWN 1957 TWN Cornette. They call it a Cornette 2. So when these bikes were built, they built two different versions of them. The one was a kickstart. The two has an electronic ignition. So this is the two. This is an electronic ignition. The bikes came with a tandem uh, six volt batteries working together. This has been converted over to a single 12 volt lithium battery. So one battery going here, this is empty. Nothing's in there except the wiring. And the 12 volt lithium sits right in there. Got a quick connect, disconnect that I put in. And that goes with this charger. So it makes it really easy to charge. Remove two bolts, twist the, the cover off and you can charge it as needed. So let me shut that. That's one piece. Um, the other thing that made note of, a lot of times is real common. I talked to a gentleman that's an expert in England. And it's what real common is that people would take off the bottom guard to the chain. So there's a guard that's usually down there on the bottom. They would take that off uh, and then set it aside and then never put it back on. So that's what we believe happened to this. The, the bottom guard is gone. Doesn't affect the driving, anything like that. Uh, just important for you to know. Uh, the other thing I didn't show in the videos is lights. The lights work perfectly. So put my key up here, turn to the left. You can see light working, high beam, low beam. That's working fine. Uh, unbelievably, the back rear light and license plate illuminator or license plate light works. And I'll show you, I'll depress the brake so you can see that it even, that lights up. So press the brake on and off. So that's working perfectly. Um, other important thing to understand is under this seat, right in here, if you can see that cavity, that's where the your air filter goes. So it does not have the air filter. Uh, so I would say, you know, fabricate or use something on the market. Uh, seems to be like a lot of the ones intended for lawnmowers or other vehicles could be used in there to give you filtration. Uh, another thing that comes up. People are used to seeing the flat seat, a lot of pictures. But if you look closely, uh, there's a lot of these um, seats. This was a standard seat that came when it shipped to the United States. So there's not a lot in the United States. I've only found one other owner and bike in the United States. Great, great person. I've reached out and talked to them and they'd be willing to talk to you if you were the buyer. Um, other thing, the did not have a key for this. So here's the key or key we go in here to unlock this storage area. The same key from what I understand would actually lock your forks. So that key is missing, but I was able to buy a kit online to pick the lock, just to pick it, to get inside here. And I was able to uh, get this picked and reveal the inside components. I was really hoping that something cool would be in there. It was empty, uh, but I will leave it unlocked. And if you want to get a key made or if you want to lock it and leave it locked, that's fine as well. Um, let me see if I can get the sound of the horn. Horn is not. Yeah, I can't even hear the sound of it now. Let me see if I turn it this way. Yeah, so the horn goes right in here uh, when it's running. Every now and then you can hear a faint sound, but uh, yeah, it's not uh, working. So maybe clean the contacts and the horn would work again. See no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, the other thing I want to go over is the, the pet cock here right here. So this tank, I probably cleaned it out seven times. Just get everything out of it. 
uh, lots of washes and I wanted to get that cleared out to make sure I could put clean fuel in it. The petcock came off um, when I was cleaning it. I took it off. I mean, took it off, cleaned it. Um, and so it may need some, some work, maybe Teflon tape, maybe um, some kind of seal in there that needs to be replaced. Drips, very subtle. It's more like seeping versus dripping. So that's really good to know. New plug in there. And um, that seems to be working fine. Sorry, you're probably hearing my dog bark in the background. Uh, other things. So seeping on the petcock. The other thing I noticed when I first got it started, I was um, informed to maybe go with a 25 to 1 ratio on the oil to gas. And I did that, and then I would notice some oil coming out down here in the muff, or, you know, and the seams um, seems to really have subsided when I went back to the manufacturer, a recommendation of a 20 to one. So doesn't seem to be a problem, but I just want to make sure you're aware of that. I uh, don't want to mislead. Um, and again, up here, I think we note that the grip is missing. Um, it was, it was actually on there, but it was really corroded and I decided just to clean it up and take it off. Um, the other thing I would say is I've not seen the lights underneath here illuminate and I've told they would, doesn't affect the starting, um, seems to be okay, but just want to point that out. Let me see if we take a look inside the tank, clear this out a lot. Um, kind of cool. It's got this little screen here, take that off, but. Uh, you can see some of the original paint that they put in there is still in there, but it's pretty clean in there now. I know I ran through a bunch of cycles to clean it up. Might be something you want to look at doing, but uh, the fuel, when I see the fuel running through, very clear now. Looks really good. Okay, over to the table. I think it's really important. I want to share this with you. So... <clears throat> The key that starts it is a fabricated key, and you can see it's just a basic piece of metal that cut in the shape of a key. The tape on there is to help when you put the key in and turn, you have to push in and then turn. So works perfectly, no problem. It's just not the original key. This here is the uh, piece of material metal that I was able to pick the lock. So I thought I'd share that with you. And again, I already mentioned the charger that comes with it. Everything on the table comes with it, but the charger is important to charge your battery. So we got two books here. First book being the manual and another book being the parts. The manual is written in English, the parts in German. And this manual is for the, you know, refers to the kickstart, but again, it's an electronic ignition. Two versions were sold. One had a kickstart. That was the Cornet 1. The other one was the Cornet 2, which if you're looking at now, that is the electronic ignition. So original lithium charger case, the battery, the charger. And then if you notice in earlier pictures or some of the pictures I have online, the bike, when I bought it out of a garage, sitting in the garage for 60 years probably, it had these saddlebags on it. I'm including those. And also had a windshield. Windshields, and you know, it's old. Um, but I want to include that. And obviously, uh, the windshield also has a mirror attachment. Trying to think of anything else to share on the bike. Um, lights work. Exchange out the, oh yeah, this is important. So you have your two fill areas. This right here is to fill the gearbox. Use a 10W30. And a 10W30 over here for the chain. That's the chain box there. Oh, one other thing I thought 
really good to share with you. I don't know what the terminology is for this is, but gears one down and then the rest are up. And then right here, if you want to kick it to neutral, and that test this out, works perfectly fine. Press on that, goes back into neutral. So no matter what gear you're in, if you're coming and you need to get to neutral, kick there, it'll, it'll go right back to neutral. Uh, this right here, it, that's something I would also suggest to, is it was trouble shifting at the beginning and just with some slight adjustments to the clutch, shifts perfectly fine now. This is the access hole to get to the clutch, uh, clutch adjustment. Uh, you'll see a lot of these online. You'll see some that say Triumph. This says TWN, that's the kind of bike it is. It's uh, a Triumph work Nuremberg. Uh, but I have seen some online that actually say Triumph instead. So hope that helps. Um, can't think of anything else to share with you. Close your case there or close your key access there. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for looking.